Bets on new and alternative forms of energy could come to fruition in 2011 as countries become more serious about clean energy. For a look at the future of the industry, we're joined now from our London Bureau by Michael Liebreich. He's chairman and CEO of Bloomberg New Energy Finance. Michael, great to have you here with us. So I know we're getting ready to kind of put out, or you're getting ready to put out your 10 predictions for 2011. Let's start there, though. Can you give us a little sneak peek of, of what you're expecting for 2011? Yeah, good morning there, Carol. Um, so essentially we're calling it as a pretty good year for the uh, clean energy sector. Um, the sector's been trading sideways uh, for a few years in the aftermath of the crisis, uh, but things are picking up and uh, I think they're poised for quite a good year. Why do you think it's finally going to be a good year? And I bring that up, Michael, because I think we've been talking about alternative energy for a long, long time, decades. What is it about next year that you think is finally going to kind of juice the sector? Now, I, I think that what we've seen really is uh, a five or six year period where things have been changing materially, largely driven by, I think, two factors. Uh, one is the increasing uh, numbers of support mechanisms around the world uh, to support a shift to low carbon energy. But the second factor is the improving microeconomics of the sector. This stuff just gets cheaper and cheaper as it builds out at scale and fossil fuels get more and more expensive. So things were somewhat put on hold during the, the, the immediate uh, crisis, post-crisis period, but the drumbeat, the background mood music has actually been very positive for the sector. So what we've got next year, assuming that the capital markets continue to recover, mm -hmm. uh, assuming that there are no geopolitical shocks, it should be a good year. You know, when we talk about alternative energy, Michael, we tend to uh, brush it with a broad stroke here. What specifically, though, in alternative energy do you think will be in incredibly fascinating in 2011, really, really take off? Or is it everything? Well, the interesting thing about clean energy is that it, there is no single uh, type of clean energy. It's everything from solar to wind to bioenergy, biofuels, even now biomaterials, bioplastics. And then, of course, smart grid, energy efficiency. You know, it's just a huge portfolio of different uh, technologies. So what you've got, as you go around the world, different bits of that portfolio are taking off at different speeds uh, and are showing promise in different ways. So it's not, it's not that the rising tide floats all boats, mm -hmm. but it's just that around the world there are a lot of different and exciting uh, sub-segments within clean energy. All right, we've been looking forward to 2011, makes sense. I want to go back, though, and look at uh, 2010 because you did lay out a bunch of predictions. What, in terms of those predictions you laid out uh, back in early 2010, didn't pan out and was really a surprise to you? Well, fascinating because we, we did pretty well. Um, you know, we, put, we forecast that it would be a record year for investment activity around the world, $200 billion. We're going to be correct on that when we publish. Uh, but what we got wrong was actually around valuations. Um, we published this index called the NEX. It's an index of clean energy stocks around the world. And we thought that would close the year significantly ahead of where it had been. Mm -hmm. And on that one, we were completely wrong. It just the, the sector has stayed out of favor with the mainstream asset managers in a way that we didn't forecast. Uh, so you've got climate skepticism and Copenhagen not doing very much and so on. So it kind of remained becalmed in terms of valuations and uh, attractiveness for the main asset managers. And that's, that's one of the things we think is going to change. All right, looking forward to that. We're going to leave it on that note. Michael, thank you so much. Michael Liebrecht, uh, Chairman and CEO of Bloomberg New Energy Finance.